Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we are talking about yet another discovery video here featuring the Nord Stage 3. The name of the song is called Runaway. The name of the artist is called Del Shannon. This came out in 1961 and the song was actually co-written by Del and his keyboard player Max Crook. Max was born in 1936. He recently passed away here in 2020. He lived to 83 years old, and he made some interesting music along the way. He's most famous for this particular song, Runaway, and the keyboard solo within. See, Max Crook, his father, we were kids, right? And, and the drummer said, I know a great organist. My guitar player quit, and I said, oh, I don't know, I need a guitar player. And he said, oh, this guy's amazing. He has this little box. And he had a, he had a camouflage, so no one would know what it was. And he put it through this amp, and when I, I, I auditioned him, you know, I started singing, and he put the strings behind me, and I said, wow, this guy's hired immediately. And Because he could make bassoons and basses and all kinds of great sounds. So the one night I wrote Runaway, I called Max the next day, and I said, Max, I need uh, an instrumental. When I point to you, play something. And he played that solo. It just came out. Basically, I was his keyboard player, and... Um we played uh, together at the High Low Club in, in Battle Creek, which is now a bank parking lot. We came up uh, with, the, with the idea for the song uh, up on the stage at the High Low Club. And uh, that bridge actually came to me in probably less than five minutes. It was just something to fit in there. And um, I had the Musitron already. It was an uh, electronic device. So I just played it on that, and it all seemed to fit together. Runaway was was done on stage in Battle Creek at that high-low club one night when Max hit an A minor and a G. And I said, wow, what a great change that was. So I said, look, follow me, everybody, follow me, everybody. It's only Max, a bass player, and me. So I went dun 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 And uh, Max followed me all through the song. I'd call out G, F, and I just followed this whole structure of song. And the next day, I wrote the words to it. It's called a musitron, and it's something uh, that I uh, made out of parts and pieces of another instrument, probably three other instruments actually, and some other electronic parts. Um, and we put it together and so that it would have various sounds, it would have echo, it would have reverb, it, you could bend notes with it. Uh, the pitch on that thing is from about 14 cycles a second up higher than, a, than you can hear. So it's tremendous range, even though it has two and a half octaves. Now, here's what Max looks like in a recording. He recorded another song, and he's playing his instrument that he made, which is called the Musitron. That's what he called it. But here's a little bit about what, what it looks like and what it sounds like in another song. And then we'll finish this video with an actual performance here using the Nord Stage 3, so we can hear the song and be reminded of the keyboard solo. Thanks for watching. And with Max Brook here, I, I, everywhere I go, I, Max, he don't travel with me, uh, but <clears throat> everywhere I go, they always say, that's the greatest rock and roll soul in history is old Max Crook playing this.